this is where the fun begins. What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the Bad Batch official trailer. Just came out well, a few hours ago. I haven't watched it yet, so I uh, figured I would just do that with you guys. And uh, dude, it feels like it's been forever, man. Like, honestly, it feels like it's been a hot minute since we got any trailers and reactions and stuff like that. But we're back. May the 4th. So what I, what I know so far is May the 4th. It comes out 70 minute first episode. Wait, can you guys hear me? I don't even know if I did this right. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear me. Okay. Uh, YouTubing for five years doesn't know if the microphones are working. Sweet. Okay, so 70-minute first episode coming out May 4th. Let's check out this trailer. We'll do like a live breakdown. I'm not going to do like a breakdown where I'll edit and everything. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go, baby. What's up, chat? How you doing? All right. Yeah, yeah, 70 minutes. I know. Yeah, that's that's what I hear. I could be wrong, but um, we good? All right. Let's roll. A test is in order. Five enhanced clones, more capable than an army. Yet they exhibit a concerning level of disobedience in disregard for orders. Oh. What else you got? Give me more! Our squad's nothing but trouble. <laughs> But we get the job done. You'll climb Force 99. You know who we are. Hunter. Let's go. Echo. Hyperdrive's online. Tick. Prepping for jump. Wrecker. Let's blow something off. Yeah! And cross here. Your move. <laughs> Need. I want Clone Force 99 oh, found and wiped out. The oh, these are dangerous. What? To be. We need to get out of here. What do you say, kid? You want to come with us? How can I help? <laughs> this is going to be so badass. The Clone Wars have ended. What? Yo! <laughs> Can either adapt to my boy, or die with the past. The decision is yours. We do what we do. What's that, hell? In, kid? Oh, it's gonna be sick, dude. This is going to be cooler than I expected. Okay, so, uh, okay. A few things from what I gather from right from the beginning. So we saw Rex, okay. But the main thing I wanted to know was do they execute Order 66 or not? What I'm gathering is that they do not. And Tarkin is basically, first of all, he was rolling with the shock troopers, which are the Emperor's, uh, like the 501st is Anakin's, Vader's fist is Vader's. Uh, he's rolling, where is it? trying to find it anyways those were the emperor's uh clone troopers the shock troopers the red ones um we also saw them at, at revenge in revenge of the sith when um they were uh taking anakin away when he was all burnt up so what i gather is that they've defied order 66 and now they're going to be hunted down and i think vader's going to come into play and in the end maybe bring them down this is pretty sweet dude so they're obviously the good guys. They roll with Rex. Um, maybe they they defy orders, as he says. So they're defective. A test is in order. Five and half. So, hold up. Was this Camino? Looks like it could be Camino, but I don't want to say for sure yet. It could just be like a training facility. A test is in order. So they're obviously testing them because they've probably defied Order 66 and they're like, what the hell is wrong with these guys? They're obviously super mutants. Five enhanced clones. Yeah, this is Camino, I think. More capable than an army. Okay, so right there, they're more capable than an entire battalion, I suppose. Yet they exhibit a concerning 
concerning level of disobedience and disregard for orders. So, boom, right there. It seems like they didn't execute Order 66. This show is pretty much just going to start off right from Season 7, I think. Level of disobedience and disregard for orders. What else you got? Yeah, it's Camino. A squad's nothing but trouble. The course on? But we get the job done. Okay, so obviously there are still so now that the Empire has taken over, there are still going to be droids throughout the galaxy. And um what happens is a lot of the droids, or at least in Legends, a lot of the droids went to sort of like the outer rim off worlds and they were decommissioned like the, the empire wasn't using them they were just kind of being used by um third parties so to speak but they were not really in the picture they just didn't really exist but at this transitionary point they're essentially wiping them all out kind of like anakin wiped out the the um the the, the last of the separatist leaders on mustafar i think you'll climb force 99 i don't know who the hell that is know who we are hunter let's go but it's obviously on camino so is that a female boba hunter let's go echo hyperdrives online tick prepping to jump reckon let's blow something up and cross here. Your Did he always have those scars on his face? Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh. Ha, we're all you need. That's sick, dude. So here come the shock troopers. So these shock troopers we saw in Revenge of the Sith, they were in the Colosseum sort of thing uh, when Palpatine was fighting Yoda, and they take Palpatine's orders. So essentially, they're like the 501st for Anakin. Um, but for Pal for Palpatine and, and I guess supposedly for Tarkin too. Clone Force Dispatched only for the elite. Out. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be. That's Fennec Shand. We need to get out of here. Which means we could see Boba, like young little Boba. What do you say, kid? You want to come with us? How can I help? The Clone Wars. No introduction needed. Rex, ended. right there. So if... Oh, damn. Okay, so where the hell is Ahsoka? And where is this? It looks like a shipwreck. Or looks like the Battle of Jakku, but... It's not... the hell is this? The Clone Wars have ended. Uh, could it be? You can either adapt and survive. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so I think here we can see that the, the Empire is really just taking over at this point. This looks to be Naboo. Just looking at the architecture. Uh, sorry, the, the, uh, the infrastructure. Yeah, and the architectural designs. I'm not really quite sure. Uh, some people were saying... Oh, oh, Braca. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, then. Yeah, fine. That makes sense. To adapt and survive. So obviously the Empire is just taking this totalitarian stance. But die with the past. I don't know who the hell that is. Who's that? Bandits? What's with their armor? Ah, uh, no, nah, I don't know. The past. So is Fennec working against them or with them? Would die with the past. Yeah, maybe against them. I'm not sure. Saw? Saw Guerrero? Where? I didn't see Saw Guerrero. What the hell? What are you talking about? Oh, what? He has hair now? I guess he's younger. That's not Saw Guerrero. <laughs> because that's not Saw Guerrero, dude. Past. Yours. That's not Sakura. There's no way. 
his green eyes. We do what we do. I think Fennec's hired by the, the Empire, man, at this point. I don't think she's gone totally rogue just yet. It's, why is everyone saying it's Saw? It is. Look at the subtitles. Nice. Why did they completely change the... Oh, yeah, you're right. What the hell? Wars have ended. You can either adapt and survive or die with the past. What? How the hell is that Saw Guerrera, dude? Adapt and survive or die with the past. That doesn't look anything like... Uh, what's the actor's name? Forrest Whitaker? Well, I mean, I guess I don't know, dude. I don't really see it, man. Whatever. Okay. Yours. Okay. We do what we do. Okay, so there's a light whip right there. A light whip. A light whip is essentially a um, a light. It's an old legends thing, but we also saw it in uh, we saw it in Clone Wars. We saw it in Rebels. A light whip is basically a, a lightsaber that's a whip. That's pretty sweet. You can see right there. We see Sabine have that. Strap in, kid. I don't know who that kid is. No order. Dope! Okay, predictions. I'm thinking, let's see what chat says. I'm thinking <sighs> they defied Order 66, as I said. Uh, the Empire takes them in. They don't really know where their allegiance lies because they don't really work for anybody. They work for themselves. They kind of just go off of, you know, jobs and what they think is right. And they're just brought in as like a last ditch effort sort of thing when <clears throat> all else fails, I believe. So since they're so defiable and they don't follow any orders, defying order 66, whether they have a chip implanted in their head or not, makes them a huge threat. So at this point, I think that they're basically just going to be hunted down by the empire. And they're going to be trying to find their way through this chaos of what is going on in the galaxy with Order 66. And as you can see, they're killing clones here. So might do some undercover reconnaissance. They might team up with Rex. They might team up with Ahsoka. They will maybe eventually in the end have to come across Vader. And Vader will be like, I'm going to have to take you guys down because you're not obeying my rules. And it's going to be a whole bunch of epic badassery. I mean, one more. Uh, we might see the Emperor, maybe Ian McDermott makes a comeback with his voice. Um, seeing some of Vader, I don't think that's going to be super prominent in the show. I think it'll be maybe a little bit um, in the sense where he'll come in cameos or he'll come in at the end or something like that. You can either adapt and survive or die with the past. The decision is yours. We do what we do. Strap in, kid. Here, though. What's that species called? Zygarian or something? I forgot. Okay. Theory, solution, Vader, Vader, Vader. Uh, well, no. That's it's always cool to have Vader, but uh, he was the main character of the entire franchise, so maybe not now anymore. But thanks, Ryan. Hello there, love all your ch content. Keep it up. Thank you, Darth Jobo. Appreciate it, man. Legion, thank you, Lord Vito. I want to see them run into Vader. Yeah, see, I'm not the only one. The first is going to have a 70 minute premiere. Who are you most looking forward to seeing in the show? To be honest, man, I'm just excited to follow the. Their point of view of what's going on in the galaxy, and they're probably super confused, I think is something that's going to be really refreshing, in my opinion, because we don't really get to see it through the, cl the, the, 
Jedi's point of view because we only have, there are only a few of them left. So seeing them kind of like in this middle playing Switzerland almost, they're going to be like, what the hell is going on? Like, if you want us to do this? And I don't even think they really care much about Order 66. I think they just don't like orders. I don't like, they don't like to be told what to do. That's a pretty sweet looking ship. It's almost like a Lambda T4. A. I love this trailer. Hope the show is as good as it looks. I think it is. Did a reaction to the trailer this morning. The show looks sick. Can't wait for May 4th and your watch parties. Oh, yeah. So uh, the van man. Thanks so much. Watch parties every Friday. Well, every Thursday night. Well, every Friday at 12 a.m., I suppose. But Okay, so you think is it little girl fet? Is it is it a girl? We do what we do. Come with us. How can I help? Is it a Boba Fett? I, I don't know, dude. Or is it like I don't know. How can I help? Is it just another clone? Come with us. How can I help? I don't know, I'm confused. Um Omega equals last clone, interesting. A test is in order. Five enhanced clones. More capable than an army. Yet they exhibit a concerning level of disobedience in disregard for orders. Lord Ashen God! Give me more! Our squad's nothing but trouble. <laughs> But we get the job done. You'll climb Force 99. Oh, wait. What the hell is that? Is it carrying nothing? You'll climb Force 99. You know who we are. Hunter. Let's go. Echo. Hyperdrive club. I got a weird theory. You know who I think Omega might be? I don't think it's a clone of Boba. Well, it might be, but... Kind of looks like... Kind of got some Palpatine hair, okay? I'm just going to say that. But there's no blue eyes. Well, that's out the window. Let's go. Echo. Hyperdrive's online. Tick. Prepping to jump. Reckon. Let's blow something up. No, it's a clone. You can say it. it's just got an accent. So. Yeah! And cross here. Your move. Ha! We're all you need. I want Clone Force 99 found and wiped out. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be. We need to get out of here. What do you say, kid? You want to come with us? How can I help? Clone Wars have ended. You can either adapt and survive, or die with the past. The decision is yours. Okay, so what I think. Fennec has been hired by the Empire to take down these clones. Um, Django is no more. Boba is still somewhat of a little kid. Um... Fennec probably won't succeed, so what I think is going to happen is they're going to bring in the big guns, and that will lead into Vader coming in in the end, and all we're going to hear is... You know? So he's going to come in kind of like Fallen Order style at the very end, last-ditch effort, and... I don't know if they're going to survive because we never see them again. I'm sure, you know, character is that powerful, so... Dude, how can you not realize that saw? Dude, I don't know. Whatever, man. It doesn't look like saw to me. Whatever. We do what we do. <laughs> Strap in, kid. I think they're going to bring in Fennec. Then they're gonna, maybe Delta Squad. And then they're going to bring in Vader. Eh? Maybe. We'll see. 
Omega equals the last clone. Interesting. Right. So, yeah, I'm really interested about this girl. Uh, where the hell? Yeah. What's the deal with Omega? Like, super, superpowers? Something? I don't know. She's like a Legolas or something. Uh, this is where the fun begins. Saw has green eyes in the Clone Wars and Rebels. Yeah, my bad, dude. Uh, Saw was in the Clone Wars. This is months after. I'm I'm aware. Yes, I know. Just didn't look like Saw to me, all right? Could the kid be a test for the next Bad Batch that they got to covert? That they got to convert with them? Says their name is Omega. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know why they would have another child clone this late in the game. Uh, narratively, I fear it will be too safe and somehow similar to the other stories we've seen in the same time era, but it looks dope and easygoing. I think it's going to be cool, man. It's going to be a continuation of Season 7. Dude, whatever, man. It made my day floney. I'm... And it's, it's Clone Wars. Let's get real. It's... Okay, post-Clone Wars, whatever. It's Order 66 Wars. Who cares? The graphics just keep getting sweeter and sweeter, and they're just... It's good, man. I like it. Any chance Delta Squad can make an appearance? Maybe. Yo, Theory, is there a way I can send you mail? I want to send you May the 4th card. Do you think we'll get more than one season of Bad Batch? I think we'll get... I think... I think we'll get several seasons, bro. Like, don't worry, man. This show... Well, actually, I don't, I don't want to say that. I don't want to jinx it. But... Look how much money they made with the Clone Wars, right? It'd be silly not to create more seasons for this one. It's a smart business decision. And fans want it. So, I mean, unless it's like a total flop, but I don't see that. There's a small article on Star Wars website. Okay, what, is it? what does the article say? All right. Let's see here. Five highlights from the Star Wars Bad Batch trailer. Following their literally explosive introduction to the final seventy minutes special premiere. Today saw the arrival of a new trailer for the series, and it's filled with action drama and some big surprises. In other words, everything we'd expect this rough and tumble crew. Uh, a test is in order. The cold and calculating Tarkin opens the trailer, praising the Bad Batch's skills while expressing concern about their individuality. Meanwhile, the Bad Batch seem to enjoy their droid destroying workout. Taken together, it's a great setup for the series and personalities involved. Their uniformity and fascism of the soon-to-be Empire and how that brushes up against the rebellious nature of Clone Force 99. Okay. A child on what looks to be cloning world of Kamino meets the Bad Batch and, by proxy, introduces them to us. We see Hunter, Echo Tech, Wrecker, Crosshair, doing what they do best, and it's glorious mayhem. If you love action, blah, blah, blah. The only question is who's your Tarkin officially names the Bad Batch as enemies of the state. These elite soldiers are now truly on their own. It looks like the Bad Batch will have some famous company, both Fennec Shand and a young but scarred Saw Gerrera. Uh, Saw raises the central question for the Bad Batch with the Clone Wars over. What will they choose? Okay. The trailer ends with some more trademark Bad Batch action, explosion, and good old-fashioned droid beating. You know the drill, but with the promise of a new kind of Star Wars adventure, take Hunter's advice, strap, and enjoy the ride. Yeah, look, it's. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. I think, you know, being able to see their point of view from Order 66 and, you know, what's going on in the galaxy is going to be something that I'm really looking forward to. It's going to be cool, man. Yeah, another fun show. Like the Imperial ATTE. A theory, the animation of Saw is based on Clone Wars. Saw, remember him, his sister, and Lux had an entire arc. I remember, dude. I Well, I guess I just don't remember what he looked like. Saw for me is Saw from Fallen Order and Rogue One. That's the Saw that I remember the most. I, I forget that he had hair and stuff. I remember, I remember the Baldy. I want to see how Rex meets up with Gregor and Wolf. Also, Rex Bad Batch for school. Well, that's the thing. We might see how, how they actually get their chips out. Long live the Empire. The girl also used a Night Sister bow towards the end of the trailer. She did. You're right. 
I didn't even catch that. You can eat. Is it? Hold on. It is. The Night Sisters energy bow was a type of handcrafted energy bow used by the Night Sisters and Night Brothers of Dathomir. Its string and arrows were made from plasma that emitted a bright pink or charge or orange glow. During the Clone Wars, a special group of Night Sisters known as the Hunters used those bows to kill targets designed by Mother Talzin. It used a plasma generator connected to a lightweight alloy bow to produce a dangerous energy bowstring. When drawn by its energy proof grip, the bow generates a powerful solid plasma bolt that is then fired like an arrow from a traditional bow. Cool. You're absolutely right. Where the hell she got that? I don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out. Just go out here. Do you think Grogu will show up? The Bad Batch could rescue him. I don't think you, know, you want to. I don't think we're going to see Grogu until either Mando season three flashbacks or. Kenobi, if we if we <laughs> if we get the flashbacks of Kenobi uh, with Order sixty six, I think we could see. I think we could see Grogu because they said there was um, a blue bladed Jedi protecting some younglings uh, in in the um, in the write up on StarWars.com. So there was a blue bladed Jedi protecting younglings during. Um, some some like scene or something like that that we're gonna get and i'm just saying like it could be maybe they're protecting someone maybe a little child maybe a little yoda could we see an interaction between vader and rex if rex is working with the squadron it could lead to a very emotional scene between rex and vader yeah that's something i don't know if i'm ready for i guess i better show you this picture here it was me. <laughs> if you can't laugh at yourself, and hey, what's life all about? Uh, new merch, go check it out. But yeah, anyways, um, I think that would be more emotional than Rex holding off Order sixty six to give Ahsoka a couple seconds. Can Vader please get a series of his own? Hey, Timify, how are you, man? Nice to see you again. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to see that. You know, a lot of people argue that Vader's got his own series for six movies, but not really. Um, we never saw him, you know, through Order 66. We never saw him um, between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. And this is, I think the Kenobi show is going to show that. I think this show is going to show that as well. So um, lots of Vader, lots of Ahsoka, in my opinion. I think at least we'll know where she is. Um, maybe Maul. There's so many things, man. Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet. She could be Django's last clone. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they have a clone child that's this young. This late in the game. So it makes me wonder, maybe Django wanted, I don't know, a daughter as well. I think that clone might be a female clone like... 23 was for Wolverine from Marvel X23. So I actually originated on Clone Wars and was later put into yes, I'm uh, thank you. I know. Um I think the brown eyes are cybernetics. I think the girl Omega is the DNA swap of Django like X23 to Wolverine in Marvel. Um top wants for the series Vader and Commander Fordo. Yeah, I was confused with the eyes. They messed me up. If Vader went back in time to episode one, Anakin, to, into episode, back in time to episode one, Anakin, would Vader tell Anakin to join the dark side or not to? Vader is between episode five and six. Uh, I think he would tell him not to do it. He hated his life, man. Go read the book, The Rise uh, of the Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader. Omega might be a mutation, female sex, which is why she is drawn to the Bad Batch. She could also be the younger audience's intro character, like Ahsoka. Yeah, hey, I'm down for it. Imagine Rex facing Vader. Yeah, I don't think Rex would do it until Vader starts you know, choking him or throwing him into the air or something like that. 
No, I don't. I don't think Vader would show any remorse for anybody. I mean, he he killed kid. You know, I mean, come on, Crosshair versus Fennec. Uh, I think they sprinkle in some connective tissue with the Mandoverse. Maybe some insight. In, well, of course, I mean, Fennec is in here, so. Look, she's a four hire, I think. She's a bounty hunter that's hired by the Empire to take down these guys. So how she teams up with Boba later on, I don't know. We'll see. But she's obviously, you know, she's like a Zam Wessel on, on roids. You guys remember Zam Wessel? Uh, maybe some insight into what Gideon was trying to accomplish by cloning Grogu. You know what I wonder? Why didn't they just clone a young Palpatine? Wouldn't that be cool? Just a young Sidious, like a 30-year-old Sidious coming in and just like so powerful. I wish that, you know, if they were going to do that, go that route with the sequels, I wish they would have done that instead of an old decrepit Sidious, you know? And in the end, uh, it's kind of like a race against the clock. If they're going to bring Sidious back, you know, have him as decrepit Sidious and then his young clone body is ready finally and he transfers his essence into that body and then we just see the decrepit one go limp and the new young one is like oh that would have been pretty sweet kind of like a star killer moment where he opens his eyes and it's like all black and then it just goes to uh his pupils come in i pray that we get on that unfinished episode with cad bane versus boba right for those who don't know there was an unfinished episode with cad bane uh, that was actually recorded, uh, and 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 almost done, pretty much, and recorded by Daniel Logan. Yep, yep. We just never got it, and who knows if we ever will. So, uh, Boba kills Cad Bane in that, and Cad Bane is the one that gives Boba the uh, the dent on his helmet. For those who don't know, uh, hey Theory, do you think we'll see a Cody versus Rex? Yeah, I think. I think they're going to throw it all in here, and I, I hope they give us more seasons than just one. Thanks, Kylo. Appreciate it, man. Hey, Theory, what do you think happened to Crosshair? He's barely in the trailer. I hope he doesn't die or betray them, but that's what I'm afraid of. Uh, no, they probably just couldn't highlight everybody. Sup, bro? I've got an idea that I think would be in Revenge of the Sith when Obi was unconscious and Palpatine said to Anakin to leave him what would happen if Anakin left Obi-Wan? Oh, he never would, but I could make that fan fiction if you want. It would be very short. Uh, Theory's voice is like sexy blue milk. <laughs> Fat Steven Seagal beat him. <laughs> Thanks, dude. What the hell? Uh, are we going to see anything about Grogu? It's very possible. Uh, I think, you know, he was taken from the temple by someone. I don't know who it is. Could it be Darth Maul? Could it be Jocasta Nu? Could it be Anakin? I've got my theories, but... A test is in order. Five enhanced clones. More capable than an army. Yet they exhibit a concerning level of disobedience in disregard for orders. So how do they get them here, then? What else you got? Give me more! Our squad's nothing but trouble. Wow, they already have like very early. But we get the job done. Ask. Very early X-wing looking things. Our squad's nothing but trouble. But we get the job done. You'll climb Force Ninety Nine. You know who we are. Hunter. Let's go. Echo. Hyperdrive's online. Tick. Prepping to jump. Reckon. Let's blow something up. Yeah. And cross here. Your move. <laughs> We're all you need. I want Clone Force 99 found and wiped out. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be. We need to get out of here. What do you say, kid? You want to come with us? How can I help? What planet was that? The Clone Wars have ended. You can either adapt and survive, 
or die with the past. The decision is yours. We do what we do. Strap in, kid. Maybe Omega's going to join their team. Maybe Omega can see into the future or see... I don't know. What the hell? What is this? Why does that look like Ahsoka's thing a little bit? What is that symbol? Does anyone know what that symbol is? I don't. Maybe the kid is strong with the Force. I don't know. Omega equals Tarkin's daughter? No, I don't think so. Night Owl symbol? I don't think so. It's a symbol of Zygeria. Omega will be stronger than Vader, Luke, and Kenobi combined. I don't know about that. Omega could be force sensitive clone. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, dude. Maybe. It's very possible. Either way, I'm extremely excited for it. I think it's going to be a fun show. And that's. Throw a like. Always got to throw a like. Yeah, meaning you guys, too. Hey. It's a dangerous place to be. We need to get out of here. What do you say, kid? You want to come with us? How can I help? I think that's Daniel Logan's voice, too. The Clone Wars have ended. You can either adapt and survive, or die with the past. The decision is yours. We do what we do. Strap in, kid. Sick. I'm down. I'm in it. Let's do it. This isn't related to the video, but are you going to animate more videos? Yeah, there are a lot of more animations coming. Almost 3 million subs. Yeah, maybe. Maybe in a bit. Well, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. All group shots are without crosshair except Camino. Well, maybe he does betray them. Maybe they kill him. And it makes the story a little more dramatic. Is that the right word? That's the word I'm looking for here. Uh, just came here after watching it. It looks beautiful. Will you do a name reveal at 3 million subs? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Why not? You guys don't have to call me Theory anymore. You can be like uh, bounce between PewDiePie's name and, and PewDiePie. You have two seasons before Lucasfilm throws in that diversity, Mary Sue. No, nah, man. I don't think so. I think, well, look. If they do, then I'm going to talk about it when they do. But I mean, uh, I'm not going to go into it with that mentality. I'm just going to go into it being like, yeah, it's, it's Star Wars, man. It's uh, they made by Dave Filoni. I mean, it's anything made by Dave and John. I think it's true, 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 true to the heart of Star Wars. And I got no no qualms with it. Um, if it's made by Ryan Johnson or something, yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a I'm going to be like go into it a little weary. Well, more than a little weary, I should say, being a little conservative there. Um, but look, I think it's going to be cool and I'll judge it once it comes out, but I think it's going to be awesome. It looks fun and it's another continuation of the Clone Wars season seven and I'm stoked for it, man. Can you look up a dinosaur that has 500 teeth? It's my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, tomorrow, by the way, before you guys uh, dip out tomorrow, we're going to be interviewing Paul Hirsch at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. This is the man who edited A New Hope in 1977 and The Empire Strikes Back, uh, as well as Carrie, as well as The Secret of My Success, as well as, um, I'm forgetting now, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, uh, Mission Impossible 1996, and so many more movies. So he's going to be the guy that we will be speaking to tomorrow, the guest speaker. Um, make sure you welcome him with open arms at 5 o'clock, 8 Eastern Time, 5 Pacific, and be here on the channel. We'll be live. So ask him your questions. Uh, again, disclaimer, not everyone's questions will be asked, maybe even none at all. But we'll see how the conversation flows. And if it, uh, if there are any dead moments, then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look over to your questions and I'll, uh, I'll ask him. But it's going to be cool. We're going to be able to see, you know, what his editing process was along with George Lucas next to him. And, you know, instructing him on different scenes that maybe never made it to theaters, never made it to deleted scenes, things that were going to be in there and were later cut at the end. You know, was he aware of the whole I'm your father bit? Because, um, of course, you know, no one knew except for Mark Hamill, um, George Lucas. And I think. Was it Lawrence Kasdan? I'm not sure. But anyways. That's that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go on the gaming channel at Theories Arcade right now, and I'm going to play some games. Um, maybe we'll continue Jedi Fallen Order, or we'll continue Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast 2, or Battlefront 2. Something. We'll figure it out. Uh, maybe God of War. We'll see what goes. But love you guys. I'll catch you later, and I will see you tomorrow. Once again, you once again, you